Hello everyone. Well, in this video, we are going to discuss about one more approach for validating the response content. That is with the use of XML path and the JSON path class. These are the classes which provide us the method by which we can extract the specific content from the response based on the path as well as we can validate their response content. The JSON path class will be used when the format of response is in JSON. And similarly, the XML path class will be used when the format of response is in XML. So inside our test class, let me add one more test method. Public void test XML content with XML path class. And the scenario will remain same that is accept the content in XML format. When I perform the get method with IDS 75, then the response should have brand name as Dell and the feature should have 8 GB RAM. So first of all, let me print the content at the console. So given dot accept dot XML when I perform the get request so this would be slash find slash 75 which is the ID then return as string so first of all let me print the output based on this get request so string s and this will be sysout s so this is the response content of our get request So now I'm going to validate this content with the help of XML path class. This is an this is the API documentation of XML path class and as you can see here inside this class there are a lot of method by which you can extract the specific content from the response body as well as you can perform the validation. So when you call the specific method let's say I call the get int method automatically based on the path it is going to perform the conversion also. So let's say in our case currently we are getting the ID in the form of string. When you call this method for this XML output automatically it will perform the conversion also from the string to int. So that is the advantage of using the XML path class. So in order to use the XML path class first I need to create the object of that class. So I will remove this part and here I will use XML path xml equal to new xml path as you can see here there are overloaded constructor present inside this class so i'm going to use the constructor which take a string as an argument and here i'm going to supply the response content which i have stored inside this string object so let's say i want to extract the brand name laptop name and id so here I will use sysout the object that is xml dot get. So as we know that the ID is in integer format. So, so here I will use get int and I need to supply the path for that. So the path will be laptop dot ID. So this will be the path to fetch the value of this field. Similarly, I will use for other fields. So this is the brand name. As we know that the brand name will be in string format. So instead of using get int, there is a method called get string. So I will use that method and the path will be laptop dot brand name. Similarly for laptop name also. 
and the method is string so i'm going to put a breakpoint over here and run this script in debug mode so as you can see this is the output of our response sorry output of our request and based on this path this is the id this is the brand name and this is the laptop name in the similar manner you can fetch the feature list also so as you can see see here this is a feature list so inside this xml path class there is a method xml dot get list okay so this method is going to return us the list and we need to supply the path so this will be laptop dot features dot feature so this will be the path to our list and as we know that the list is of type string so i can store inside a string list So first I will display the size of the list so list dot size and then using the for each loop I will display all the content for each str sys out str again I will run this script in debug mode So ID, brand name, laptop, list. So this is the list as you can see here. Size is six and this is the entire content of the list. Now you can easily perform the validation once you have all the data with you. So after receiving the data, instead of printing them, I will use the assert statement to perform the validation. So here you can directly use assert dot assert equal. As we know that this statement internally use the Hamcrest framework for the match for the matching. Assert equal. Expected is seventy five. That is the ID. So here I will use assert dot assert equal expected is 75 as the id and which can be fetched from the response using this statement okay i need to use the assert from the proper package Similarly, you can use for other fields also. So assert dot assert equal. This is del, and we can fetch it from response content using this method. Similarly, for the laptop name. So I'm going to again run this script in debug mode. So first create the object then do the assertion. So as you can see here the assertion are getting passed. Similarly you can add the assertion for the list so assert dot is true sorry assert true As are true and the condition I'm going to put here is get list 
dot contains and let's say 1 TB of hard drive and again run this script so this time the test method will pass because we have put all the valid assertion here so as you can see here and let's say I change this one and run this again okay. so we are getting the assertion exception here okay so in this manner you can use the xml path for extracting the specific value from the response as well as to perform the validation of the content